Hi, my name's Megan and I am a powerlifter and I'm going to teach you today how to squat. There's a number of things to think about before you perform a barbell back squat. The first thing you want to do when you approach your rack is obviously you have a barbell, but it's about setting up your rack height. So I'm just going to roll this barbell forward so I can get closer to the rack. Rack heights, you want to be able to safely unrack the bar and not clip the safeties, obviously, when you're unracking. So on this rack, I just twist it out and I'm going to slot it in to the right height for my shoulders. So for me, that's around 28, like there. Maybe slightly higher on this one, actually. Around there. And the same thing on this side. Then you're going to clean the bar up and load it into the Cool. On a bar, there's a thing called knurling. So knurling is for grip. There's always a centerpiece of knurling and this is where you want your lowered back, bottom of your neck to sit when you're performing the barbell back squat. Second thing is your shoes. So when people squat, I see it time and time again, they're squatting in bubbly trainers. You don't want to do that because that's going to destabilize your ankle. You want a flat surface. So I'm actually going to take my shoes off when I squat today because mine have a bit of cushioning in and I don't want to be wobbling when I'm performing my squat. So just going to slide these off and stick them over there. Sometimes, depending on your ankle mobility, your heels might lift when you do a squat. Again, you can prevent this by wearing heels when you squat, heeled shoes, or adding in a little wedge, which your gym may have, or you can find online. Getting into the squat. What you wanna do when you perform your setup is making sure that you're an even width on the bar. So I use my thumbs. I hope your thumbs are the same length. You use these, you place them on the bar where the knurling starts. I then tuck them under. Now, the next thing is the positioning of the bar on your back. I like to squat low bar, which means I have it lower down. You can also have a high bar squat, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to teach you a low bar squat. So hands are on even. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to drive myself underneath the bar and the bar is just going to sit and wedge on my back on my rear delt shell. So a squat is a compound movement. When you are performing a squat, you want to tense your back like this, pulling the bar into your back and that will create a rear delt shelf for the bar to sit on, okay? So I'm coming under driving the bar into my back. Next thing is my feet. So I'm gonna get into my squat stance before I unrack the bar. Then what I can do, take a deep breath in, brace my core, tuck my hips, and I'm standing up with the bar. All I've got to do now, because I've assumed my squat position, is I'm gonna take one step back, another step back out the rack, and I'm ready to squat. Deep breath in, sending my hips back. Now I'm gonna slowly track down with the bar, and then I'm gonna drive up, walking back in, into the rack, and down. When you squat as well, number one thing to think about is you want to keep your hip cavity open. So you want to create depth in your squat. If you squat too narrow, your quads can limit how far you're keeping it down. So just think about taking your feet slightly wider at like a 45 degree angle, and your knees track in line with your toes. So when I'm squatting down with the bar on my back, I'm sitting back into my hips so I can drive down and get that depth, so knee in line with my hip. Then I'll drive up, and that's the squat. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you wanna see more tips on how to perform in a gym, make sure you like and subscribe.